important new legislation passed in recent weeks by the New Jersey Senate has been enacted into law and will help improve the lives of millions of residents. This includes a package of four bills that will pave the way for clean energy in the state. The lead sponsor, Senator Bob Smith, said one measure allows for solar production on some farmland. And the way the dual use solar bill works, you can now have farmers not only growing crops, but putting solar panels, which are at 12 feet height and a little more dispersed than a normal solar field, generating renewable electricity. Also enacted into law was a measure that elevates strangulation assault to a crime of the second degree, punishable by up to 10 years in prison and a $150,000 fine. One of the sponsors was Senator M. Teresa Ruiz, who notes that almost half of all domestic violence homicide victims had previously been strangled by their partners. Senator Ruiz said, we have a responsibility to survivors to take these statistics seriously, to read these warning signs, and to implement measures to protect them. That is why this legislation is so important. Law and order was also the focus as Senate President Steve Sweeney toured the Camden County Police Department. Since the Camden County Commissioners established a new law enforcement agency in Camden, the city has seen a significant drop in violent crimes and homicides, with a more than 40% drop in violent crime in Camden City since 2013. The Senate President said the force is a glowing example of effective policing. The Camden County Police Department is the future of law enforcement, not only in New Jersey, but in America. September 23rd is the birthday of the boss, Bruce Springsteen, and it may soon be a day of celebration for all of New Jersey. A resolution sponsored by Senator Vin Gopal that recently gained Senate approval would honor the life and contributions of one of our most famous New Jerseyans by designating September 23rd as Bruce Springsteen Day for all of New Jersey. Bruce Springsteen has been such an important part of our culture and history here in New Jersey. In our legislative district in Monmouth County, he grew up in Freehold, uh, played in Asbury Park, and has really been a model around the world. The poetry, the art, the culture, and so many students right now who've expressed an interest in music, education, really owe it to Bruce Springsteen. So we're honored with Bruce Springsteen Day that we really pay tribute uh, to our native son, who's done so much to inspire millions across the world uh, on making music education a priority in their families. This has been the Senate Democrats Week in Review. Thanks for watching.